Liberating Life, Woman's Revolution, by Abdullah Ohalan. On the author, Abdullah Ohalan, born in 1949, studied political sciences in Ankara. He actively led the Kurdish liberation struggle as the head of the PKK from its foundation in 1978 until his abduction on February 15, 1999. He is still regarded as a leading strategist and one of the most important political representatives of the Kurdish people. Under isolation conditions at Imrali Island Prison, Ohalan authored more than 10 books which revolutionized Kurdish politics. Several times he initiated unilateral ceasefires of the guerrilla and presented constructive proposals for a political solution of the Kurdish issue. The current peace process started in 2009 when the Turkish state responded to Akalan's call to resolve the Kurdish issue politically. Since July 27, 2011 he is being held again in almost total isolation at Imrali Island Prison. On the International Initiative on February 15, 1999, the president of the Kurdistan Workers' Party Abdullah Akalan, was handed over to the Republic of Turkey following a clandestine operation backed by an alliance of secret services directed by their corresponding governments. Disgusted by this outrageous violation of international law several intellectuals and representatives of civil organizations launched an initiative for the release of Abdullah Akalan. With the opening of a central coordination office in March 1999 the International Initiative Freedom for Abdullah Akalan, Peace in Kurdistan started its work. The International Initiative regards itself as a multinational peace initiative working for a peaceful and democratic solution of the Kurdish question. Even after long years of imprisonment Abdullah Akalan is still regarded as the undisputed leader by a majority of the Kurdish people. Hence the solution of the Kurdish question in Turkey will be closely linked to his fate. As the main architect of the peace process, he is viewed by all sides as the key person for its successful conclusion, which puts Akalan's freedom increasingly more on the agenda. The international initiative is committed to play its part to this end. It does this through disseminating objective information, lobbying and public relations work including running campaigns. By publishing translations of Akalan's prison writings it hopes to contribute to a better understanding of the origins of the conflicts and possible solutions.